Y'all you know, were relying a lot on the uh, systems to tell you communications. I'm assuming that their battery or generator backup in the, in the event of a catastrophic electrical outage, they all are on battery or generator backup. Yeah. My other question is, and I don't know if you can do it in this particular area, but all right, have y'all looked at uh, high injection uh, well well pumps for overflow of the sewage? They do use them in Collier County, in South Florida. They pump 35,000 feet down in, into the aquifers, but scientists have said by the time it comes out in the ocean, it's purified. Yeah, now that's a uh, pretty uh, not wild statement. To do it. Yeah, we only allow to be surface discharge. I know down out in Gainesville, Florida, they have a deep well injection. They actually, instead of surface water injection, they dug a well 3,500 feet, and they're pumping it in the ground 3,500 feet. Uh, you know, some pros and cons, some folks are pro to that. Some folks don't think they uh, that should be happening either. So, you know, still some science needs to be done up in this area to make sure it's all right. soil condition. You know, so they use a bubble there. system in South Florida. Yep. They inject it into the uh, brackish water They're system. going into the lower, lower Florida. I don't know yeah, if you can do that more up. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. You get up higher in the sugar, it'll be hard to get it. Well, whatever you can do to communicate with us, get us some information, and support us, uh, and me as a citizen, I greatly appreciate your help. I have a question about those three alerts in Florida. The first one was put out on the 10th when all anybody knew was there was spill. Okay, better safe than sorry. The second one was put out when, as I understand it correctly, Valdosta found an elevated bacterial level at US 84, which I believe <coughs> we heard earlier is right next to the state line. Uh, does anyone in Valdosta know how many river miles from US 84 to the state line? Uh, 27 or about three days and is anybody measuring at the intermediate boat ramps to see how the sewage is moving down the river Valdosta for example is Valdosta doing that no we have uh, an answer from Tom Murdy of Swanee River Water Management District we have done that yeah. as you know <coughs> Did you do it at Knight's Ferry and Anchor? We haven't done it consistently, but we have done it when a, when a spill, you know, when a, when a location popped up, at, you know, either at 84 or at 31, and we looked upstream and downstream in conjunction with DOH and DEP on specific days. Yeah, on specific days. And we did a site. We did a OK, and with the Knight's Ferry and Anchor and US 84 and state line, but Valdosta has not. The vessel Incorrect. basically flushed its sewage down the river. No, no sir. I'm going to have to interrupt you there. And Mike, just like the gentleman here said, when we got that hot spot at Mike's Creek, we went down there. And we took our crew down there. They took samples. They did the lab work. We took it to a lab in Thomasville because the other folks were going to say, oh, they're just making the numbers up. The number that you were posted on your Facebook was much higher than the independent lab and our own folks said. So I really can't let you stand here and I said we hadn't been out there really. And you ever returned that data in response to the open records request I fired a week ago? I will have to talk to the city clerk about that. You didn't file it with me, sir. I asked you in your office earlier. And I gave you all the data. You asked me for the data, every 